back at the truck to do some maintenance so I've got a leaky cylinder here it's pretty disgusting and leaking and same with that side so I went ahead and ordered two new ones got two new cylinders gonna go buy the fittings I'm gonna replace the hoses while I'm under and then change my oil bought some new straps these are J hooks these are not the swirl these are the J hooks for the trailer got some paint and yeah just a maintenance day today so I gotta release the pressure off these hoses hopefully there is none gotta go under so I gotta put on my suit and um, get these hoses off go get new ones made replace the cylinders should be fairly simple I do have new pins so I'm probably gonna put new pins in and yeah let's see what happens here's my new hoses brand new fittings brand new hoses these are my old ones they're still good but few cracks here and there so I'm gonna say I'm gonna clean them save them um, I get it from food tech hydraulics here in Sacramento uh, with all the fittings four fittings hoses we're at 500 bucks so I'm gonna <coughs> pull these cylinders out We're gonna put them in. These are my old ones. I don't feel like rebuilding these, so just got new ones. But I realized that the fittings on both were loose, so it was leaking like obsessively leaking. So I'm gonna save these, rebuild them later because for the back I have them on the back these ones and over there that picks up the top deck tilts it they're not leaking I mean it's dirty obviously but they're still dry so once these leak those will get rebuilt and put over here and these will be removed so yeah let's get to it so these are the new cylinders I got and as you can see they went to the front for the tilt position not in the back but the reason is let me get this tape measure set up so look, this measures about two, like three quarters maybe, five eighths, and I ordered two and a half inch, and they sent me bigger ones, and this is the this is where they have to go in and these are let's see if we can measure it from where I can tell these are exactly like two three eighths two and a half and they have to fit inside this frame rail that's measured what is it like two five eight so they didn't fit 
they did not fit so I put one two from that position because they're not leaking they're nice and clean but they're still old they're still old but they're not leaking nice and dry ones and I put them in the hole these ones these ones are exposed so these work perfectly here so I already reordered called them back I ordered the right ones they just sent me the wrong ones so they're sending me new ones and then these are my next ones to replace picks up the top deck these are big these are three inch and two and a half two and a half bore three inch housing and I believe it's like 62 63 inches long <sighs> but those are 53 inches so I can't use them in the front but yeah my main concern was to replace those two because they raised this top deck so they raised car one and car two and they leak they leaked a lot so i got new hoses uh well old cylinders still good and that's it so i'm gonna do oil change next these are my old ones I'm gonna keep they're not bad couple cracks but I'm gonna save them and yeah that's it here's my old oil those are empty just replaced oil trailers done till the new cylinders show up Brand new, brand new. Everything's good. Let's try it out. See what's our pressure. 